Hello and welcome to Planet News. Here you will find everything new and exclusive. We hope you will join us by pressing subscribe and then like the video. China's reopening is happening under the watchful eye of big data and perhaps Big Brother, local governments tracking the movements of hundreds of millions. We noticed the start of this effort back in mid-February, arriving in Shanghai from Beijing. Each arriving passenger required to write down health and travel history and register for your personal QR or barcode. Have you been traveling away from China for the past 14 days? No. A few weeks later, and Shanghai had rolled out its QR codes citywide. Walking into a restaurant, hotel, shopping mall, you're expected to show it. Here in Shanghai, shop owners and hotel managers have told us a green means you're clear to go in. Yellow or red suggests you've been in an area with high exposure to the virus, and it could mean quarantine. It is all part of contact tracing, an effort to track and contain confirmed cases. Here in China, it's done on the widely used WeChat and Alipay apps. To stop the spread of the virus, contact tracing is an essential step, and this is why uh, similar initiatives are being adopted in many places around the world. Major Chinese tech companies are finding other innovations amid the outbreak. CNN spoke with Xin Chonghua from Alibaba. He does artificial intelligence research. He says more than 160 hospitals in China and others in Japan are using the CT image analytics to help diagnose coronavirus. The whole approach is nearly 60 times faster than human detection. Alibaba also turning to genome sequencing, analyzing the virus's DNA to help diagnose the virus. They say they can screen 20 samples simultaneously. The tech giant also involved in tracking future hotspots of the virus. It's all giving the company potential access to so much personal health data, raising privacy concerns. So we don't store any data. We just analyze it and then pass the result to the hospital where doctor can use it as a reference to uh, assist their own medical judgment. What about the government, though, particularly with the QR codes, personal, local data and health information? It might prove effective in containing the spread, but is it the start of China using a pandemic to closely track its citizens and those potentially of other countries? Should they export this technology? Local governments using the QR have publicly posted they will discontinue them as soon as the outbreak ends. You know, who's going to determine, like, for example, when the pandemic actually ends? Uh, when is the end point? Uh, when should governments or companies actually delete the personal data or the tracing data uh, that they're actually collecting. For now, many here in China focused on stopping the spread and navigating their new normal. David Culver, CNN, Shanghai. You like the video, I share it in the channel, and you share the video with your friends. It is more support for us to develop from ourselves always. Thank you.